Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely, located in Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? In today's video, I want to talk to you about harmony and financial balance as a twin flame. Okay, so this is something that as a twin flame, you've pretty much had to fend for yourself for a while, or maybe you've been in a relationship or a series of relationships. You have goals, you have dreams. Sometimes you feel that you have to partner up with like-minded people. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's very fourth dimensional. It's very old paradigm, okay? doesn't always work out for people. In fact, some people get roped into helping other people fulfill their dreams, and they get stuck with the short end of the stick. Now, the energy that we are going into is much more conducive to better finances, and a better foundation for your flow, for your abundant flow, okay? Do we need to define abundance? I'll just say a few things here. It involves health, healthy relationships, a healthy life, the money to do the things you want, money for emergencies, financial well-being where you feel okay about the topic of money, and also maybe something to retire on. Have you started that? Maybe you didn't. Maybe you should, and maybe you don't know what to do because it all feels overwhelming and daunting. Now, let me tell you, as a twin flame, you have a unique opportunity because there's two of you. That means double the energy, double the fun, double the love. It's amplified, but so is what we purge out and shed. That can be amplified too. What if you feel like you're attached to someone who's a complete bubblehead about this? Okay, they squander money, they spend money on the wrong things, they gamble, they drink, they, you know, don't save, they, you know, what is all this importance? Well, it is about accountability. Your ascension demands accountability, it demands responsibility. It's being a little more responsible than we used to be. It's being a little bit more accountable to the things we're responsible for than we used to be or that we could be in the past. Maybe in the past, the most you could do is have a job, hand to mouth, and live and die, and maybe leave, leave nothing to your kids. That is a large segment of the population. They haven't been able to, or it's been somehow you know, destroyed or thrown away or something like that. Now, we were in a unique time, and mind you, if you already have a budget, bump that Thing up by 10% at least because inflation is going to be another like 14%. How do you trim the things that you actually need? It's through your light body. How do you grow and create the things that you also need? It's through your light body. It is through your connections here and here and not only in those two places but it also means detachment from very very old ancient things that would limit or hinder you. Now, you're here to do something, sorry, we're here to do something much more significant than you could do on your own. And this is where all, people also kind of get hung up is they're trying to do everything all for humanity all the time and they get overwhelmed with it. No. Okay. Decompress that for a minute. Breathe. Okay. One couple is not going to save the planet. That's really nice in a story, but really doesn't work that way. We're all here. We're here, and there's two of you bringing your gifts, bringing your skills, bringing your love connections, which nobody should trample on or, you know, drain you dry about. Nobody should be an energy vampire to you. You need yourself for you. Okay. When people are willing, there shouldn't be any us in the mentality between you and your other half. But a lot of people kind of are coming from that where they're like, well, how is that person going to be with me? Well, what if they're stingy? What if they're overly generous with wrong, the wrong people? Okay. Like to give you an example, how many of you have seen, you know, like uh, a dad who's more, you know, worried about impressing the bartender and leaving these big tips than gets upset 
with the kid for losing, you know, something and having to put out the money to replace it, okay? That is a skewed priority, okay? That's a perception problem. And with your light body, you're not only able to properly perceive things, where you should spend, where you should do things, what you should do, but you're able to be easily guided by your heart. You get steered and you get drawn and you gravitate toward what is needed and wanted and in some ways expected of you by your own higher selves. So what if, what if your other half is screwing things up? Ha, huh. this is where your light body comes in because your brand new connections gets at least one of you up leveled to that level of safety where you can get really adept at things while you drag them along behind your pickup truck and almost force them to get with the program. That sounds kind of wild, right? Is that love? Well, it's tough love, baby. And yeah, that is still love because you're loving yourself and you're loving yourselves and you're loving your higher self. And being able to have those connections so that you know what your next actions are, okay? I've talked to plenty of people throughout years that I've done this. They've gotten all kinds of mixed signals, mixed messages that they take as guidance. Should I do this? Should I do that? The clarity feels good, okay? When you get a really crystal clear thing, it should feel good. It should feel like, woohoo, that's the plan. I'm on track. I am doing this. I am loved. I am loved beyond all earthly measure and someone can't wait to be with me. It's all getting lined up. That's how it's supposed to feel. It's not supposed to feel like I have eight things on my plate and where the hell is that bastard now? It can feel like that for people that do not know how to connect and let me help you reconnect to the connections you need, and to your higher connections, the integration of your higher connections. I can't emphasize that enough, so I'm not going to say it anymore, but people feel blocks, okay? Those blocks just didn't come from now. Those blocks are things that hinder, limit, and it, it okay, like it's good to say, oh, I don't want to have a victim mentality, or have a mantra like, I am full of abundance. The universe is going to, okay, the universe wants you to do your part because it is highly significant that there are two of you, okay? If you are not doing this as a twin flame, you're just doing it wrong. Got to say that straight up. If you're trying to run solo and not including the higher aspect of your twin flame, you're going to feel like it's getting screwed up at some point. Now, while you might not be at the finish line, you got to start this part of the race. Your finances are important because it's a part of your balance and it's a part of the harmony that you two should be feeling together with each other and towards each other as well. No matter where they are, you are a part of a plan. You're part of an overall master plan. You have creativity. You don't know maybe yet what you will innovate or bring to the table, but you are expected to bring something. That is the expectation here. Now, I've, I've talked to people that have done amazingly well with their personal transformation, and they feel, and they feel those etheric hugs, and they feel the kind whispers, the sweet nothings into their mouth. Okay, these are all preparatory. They are important. Those are important alignments, but it's not pretend. It's not imagineer. And for many people, it's not sufficient. You want all your tanks filled. You want to not have to worry about this stuff. There is no such thing as the matrix twin and the materialistic twin. Okay, stop kidding yourself about that crap. People who say that crap is just crap. Okay, everyone has material needs. Everybody has physical needs and wants and wishes. Those will be personal and they should. It shouldn't be like everyone wants the big white house by the ocean. Okay, those are just examples. You might want the cabin in the woods. You might want to go van lifing. I really don't care what you want. I mean, I care, but like 
It's irrelevant to me. How you're going to create that and enjoy it and feel fulfilled, like this is checking my boxes, this is blowing up my skirt. Yeah, that I care about. Okay, so let's get healthy with this. Please join part one of Money and Ascension. The links are below and it's starting very soon. I will send you the recording if you happen to miss one. I love questions or have a session. If you are struggling with any of these topics, please have a session. The links are below. We do coaching. We do Ascension coaching. We do uh, Ascension symptoms. And we are each one of the parts of you that revolve around your physical health, your financial health. Financial health is important. It's important, okay? I hope to see you there. Please have a wonderful day. Bye.